America was a haven for those seeking prosperity and freedom to worship as they saw fit. In the struggle for dominance between England and France, the English colonies had one critical advantage. Its population of over one million people was 20 times greater than that of the French. To be in Canada, one had to be both French and Catholic, whereas the British colonies welcomed all who fled Europe's wars and famines. That's why Papa brought our family to Philadelphia. But Regina and I, we were scared to death. No, no sisters. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks be to God. We are here at last. Huh? And he has given us this sweet rain for our first harvest. Jetzt, wo wir da sind, was sollen wir machen? Speak English, Mama. We have practiced for two years. Yeah, Papa. Yes, my dear husband. Oh. <laughs> we find food, and then we buy land of our very own. <laughs> it's all right. Luther, come. <laughs> Whoa, boy, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Chiefs of all six tribes request an audience with your excellency. Go to Washington, can't you see? I've no time for savages. Sir, the chiefs bring with them over 400 warriors. They will prove invaluable as we near Fort Duquesne. Invaluable? Are you suggesting His Majesty's finest regiments require the assistance of untrained, illiterate savages to win this battle? They are masters of stealth and ambush. We can employ them to protect our flanks. Your troops cannot shoot an enemy. They cannot see. Washington, you weary me. Very well. Give us a moment and show them in. General Braddock, may I present the great Delaware chief, Selinqua? General, my people have lived, hunted on these lands from the beginning of time. Now we willingly share these lands with the English. We join you in driving French from these lands. We ask only, once the French are gone, that you grant us lands for hunting to feed our children. Never. Only the British shall inherit this land. Uh, General, we willingly take up the tomahawk against the French. We defend your cause with our lives. His Majesty's troops 
do not need you to win this battle. No savage shall ever inherit this land. Is that clear? Now, be gone. General, I implore you, we must call them back and make some small concession. Gather your warriors. We go and join the French. The Great Spirit has given us great victory over the Yankees at Fort Duquesne. Yes. But while we were away, evil spirit has stolen the rain. Now the corn withers. Now people will be hungry. Our fathers hunted on the Delaware River, next to the great waters. Till the white man pushed us 300 miles west into Ohio. Say enough. We must attack the Yankee villages. And reclaim the hunting ground of our fathers. The white man's pox has taken many of our people. If we go on this warpath, there will be no one left to feed our women and children this winter. Yengi's village lay far to the east. 300 miles is nothing. We're not children. We'll take many scalps. And trade them for food and weapons we need from the French. We will return with many captives and much plunder. They will replace those lost to the pox and help women work and grow crops. Our brothers from the east remain with the British. What if they fight us? They are women. Already some of the young warriors have come to join us. Chief Jacob is the only warrior among them. He too will join us. You must lead our warriors to the white man's villages and take back the hunting grounds of our fathers. Bring back food to feed our children and captives to replace our dead. Can you believe it, Mama? Over 200 bushels from just 20 acres of corn. Oh, you were right, Papa. America is rich and fertile. Far better than the Duke's land in Germany. Baba, Regina! Hey. Fritz! John! Christian! You. <laughs> what you killed? Yeah! <laughs> Fritz is a wonderful shot. He always hits the sky, no matter how many turkeys are in the way. How are you? Oh. Come! Come, I shall. is in, we should go back to Germany, where there are no wild Indians. Mama, you forget our slavery to the Duke. Barely enough to eat year after year, never to own land. Yeah, we are blessed here. 200 bushels of corn from our own land. It would take 10 years to get that much in Germany. That's all right. Barbara, I want to show you to use this if ever you need to defend yourself, okay? Hold it up here, like so. Get your hands in there, push this down there. Now pull back real hard here. That's it, and then pull the trigger. That's it, now you try it. Hold it up here, show me. That's it, steady. It's heard at the mill that more Indians were joining the French against the British. They massacred General Braddock's army. Mama. I would never go back to Germany. It is better to die here a free man than to see my mother and sisters as slaves in the Duke's land. Papa, why don't you go get the Bible? Do not be afraid because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That's very good. Each of you will have times of testing in your lives. 
But you must always remember that no matter how hard the trial or how dark the wilderness, God will never leave you or forsake you. Never. Papa, do you think the Indians will hurt us? Regina, do you remember why your mother and I came to this land? Yes, Papa. In America, we are slave to no man and free to worship God. That is right, my little angel. Danger and struggles and sacrifice. They go hand in hand. They are the price we pay for our freedom. Even if the Indians attack? Yes, Bray Barbara. Even if they take our lives, we would still be free. And what could be more wonderful than to go from our beautiful valley straight to heaven? Huh? John, tomorrow you and Mama take the corn to the mill. Papa, can Fritz go with us? If his father allows it, sure. He'll be of great help. Mama, this is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. <laughs> From your papa. For our engagement. He paid a year's wages. Regina, will you take care of your papa and Christian for me? All right, here we go. Up. Yeah, very good. Boys, take care of mama for me. I'm counting on you to protect her, huh? We will, papa. Don't worry. Oh! Mmm, delicious. Mama. Mama. Okay, John, off you go. Be safe, John. Bye, Mama. I love you, Mama. Mmm, my darlings. It smells even better than Mama makes. Papa. It is not as good as Mama, but it is the best that I can do. Uh, you are correct. Mama is the best. Barbara, one day for some very fine young man, you will make the best wife ever. Me too, Papa? Of course. Oh, I see you. Good one. Thank you. Brothers. Brothers. Welcome. Please. Welcome. What, what, what brings you this way? You must be thirsty from your travels. I get, I get the powder. Wenn sie hören und verstecken euch, kommt mir nicht klar, bis ich euch rufe. Go. We have a fresh water from spring. Wait, we, we are friends with the Shawnee and Delaware nations. Yeah, yeah. We have no fight with the French or our Indian brothers. No. We have great victory at Port Duquesne. All white men must leave our tribal lands. No. No, no, no. No, no, no.
blow out the candle. No, it's too dark. Felon, cover it. Spirits awaken. Let's go. Go ahead. I see their light. Are they coming? Yes. No talk. How could you kill my baby? What? I can say it. <laughs> you want baby? <laughs> Get that woman's baby! Get Your report, Captain Armstrong. Sir, survivors tell of savage killings, engines taking scalps, women and children being taken captive, cabins being burned. Preposterous. Sir, the French are paying Indians for each scalp, whether it be man, woman, or child. Scalps? Sir, what are you going to do to protect the settlers on the frontier? I'm far too busy to concern myself with affairs on the far-flung frontiers. Sir, surely a garrison can be commissioned. Inform me immediately when you ascertain what we have done to offend the Delaware chief. Yes, sir. Eat! Is it? 
How do you expect us to eat? I am Galasco, son of great chief Selinqua, brother of Hanoa. Many moons from white man's village. Too far for white children to run. Now you become Indian children, make good squaws, and braves. Your name now is Sesquahana. Mama again. Yes. I don't know. But we must be brave and remember what Papa said. God will never leave us or forsake us. Why does Mama so much? Mm -hmm. Regina, promise me that you will never lose the song in your heart, no matter what happens. Promise. You'll never leave me. I promise. Oh, you sing to me, like Mama. <laughs> God's the light that will guide me home with His love and tenderness, leading to the wilderness.
You try to escape. Now you burn. I want to be with my sister. Where is Regina? Please. I just want to see my sister. You no escape. You burn. Good. You hurt me, Naga. Lord, do not leave or forsake me. Dear God, my God, help me. Wait, stop it. She tried to escape. She needs to burn. Why escape? Why you not stay? I was just trying to find Regina. I promised her. If your brother is captured, taken away, do you not go to rescue him? Sesquahana promised to find her sister. She was brave to try. Do not dishonor the courage in her. Now you make new promise. Never escape. But I promised Regina. Sesquahana tries to escape again. She will surely die. Easy. No laga. Captain Armstrong, why, after 73 years of peace, are the Indians attacking us now? Governor, the Delaware Indians were defrauded of their land. Oh. Now they want us back. Preposterous. When Chief Jacob and our Indian allies appealed for food and arms to survive the winter, the Pennsylvania Quaker Assembly refused them. The Quakers ran off England's greatest ally. Now they slaughter us along the frontier. Those bungling pacifists. Sir. More than a thousand scalps are nailed to the walls of Fort Duquesne. Another 200 are held captive there. Tens of thousands of refugees are fleeing towards Philadelphia. And just what would you have me to do? Sir, you are the governor appointed by King George to protect the citizens of this colony. Your negligence and dereliction of this solemn post has earned Pennsylvania the, the much deserved condemnation and derision of every colony in the New World. Mr. Franklin, these people are not citizens. They are subjects of King George. If your pacifist Quaker assembly would send me a military appropriations bill, perhaps I could do something. I can assure you, sir, that the good people of Pennsylvania do indeed consider themselves citizens. Governor. Must compel Colonel Dunbar to return to the frontier. He must take with him the 1,500 British regulars that remain from General Braddock's army to defend the settlers. Captain Armstrong, as you well know, after General Braddock's defeat, Colonel Dunbar retreated all the way back to Philadelphia and demanded winter quarters in the month of July. Yes, sir. We are well aware of that act of cowardice that remains unparalleled in British history. Many. Good hunting. Oui, oui. Um, what's that? Ah. C'est beaucoup. Un, deux, trois, deux pièces. Cinq ans, cinq ans, vingt-cinq. Voilà.
Thank you. What's wrong? My goodness, you're freezing. Here. Okay, I'm going to get this around him. Okay. His fever. How long? Since last night. My name is Owen Gibson. He's David Breckenridge. <coughs> David, would you be able to eat something? We must get David's fever down, otherwise they're going to leave him outside the wolf for the wolves. <coughs> yeah, yeah. It's run up! The governor's given orders! Return home or face arrest and prosecution! Sheriff, you and your deputies have been relieved. Take their guns, men. Now, if you'd be so kind as to show us the way to the assembly. Piper! Gentlemen, gentlemen, friends. You must pass this militia bill immediately, or your citizens will tear this place apart. Your inexcusable delay has ensured that in all of Pennsylvania, we have no militia to protect us. I tell thee I would rather die than face appropriation for war. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, and indeed you will this very night. You have given me an idea. Let us draft and pass the appropriation, 55,000 pounds sterling, for the king's use. Hmm? Thus will we complete our duty to the king and our citizens while having nothing to do with war or military taxation. <laughs> Friends, citizens. I hold a bill to raise 55,000 pounds sterling for your defense. I would be honored if you would accompany me to ensure the governor's immediate signature. We cannot go to the land of my fathers yet. We must keep the tomahawk in our hands until the last Yangi is driven out. suffered another disastrous defeat. You shall raid Katanning Village in retaliation for their massacre at Fort Granville. It's a very dangerous mission, over 200 miles along Indian trails. You will be under constant threat of ambush. Your orders, Captain Armstrong. Thank you, sir. My brother Edward was killed at Fort Granville. I consider it my sacred duty to lead this raid. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you, sir. May God speed your successful return. That, sir, is all we need.
Easy, lads. You'll do your duty. Casualties, Lieutenant. 18 dead that we know of. Wounded? 21, sir. None appear to be mortal wounds. At least eight cannot walk. Captives? 24, so far. Got it. Take 50 men in at once. Sentinels. Pray we find more captives. Aye, sir. Yeah. Who's next? Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Tosa, Kitanin. Been burned to the ground. Chief Jacob is dead. Onisageha. Squaw goes to Yenji's to escape. She must burn in the morning. Do not cry for me. 
for me. For I do not fear the flames. For the Lord has shown me that I will be with him today in heaven. to escape. She must burn. She has suffered long enough. She must burn. I will see no more of this. No. We are friends. We take no revenge. The great spirit has seen his evil deeds. Our honor is restored. Père, ton âme. Demopsis, Indian territory. Oh, that's the best part, Mrs. Lining. You see, we purchased this property from the Penn family and the Indians. There haven't been any troubles with Indians in Pennsylvania for 73 years. You have nothing to worry about. You see, Mama? <laughs> to Susquehanna.
Watcher. So what the whole set that? Never leave a sign for your enemy to find. When the corn stalk breaks to the earth and reaches to the sky, the beans and the squash are planted all around it on the south side. You weak! Push harder! Push! Ah! Go to the village. Bring women and horses. Hanawa always angry. Hanawa is a great warrior, but Chief Selenkwa prefers Galasco's gentler ways over older brother. Chief Selenkwa has chosen Galasco to be next chief. that I freeze and starve. Why are you starving? I don't have Galasco bringing me food and blankets. I've had nothing to eat all winter except bark, worms, and mice. Oh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I will sneak you food every chance I get. I thought you forgot about me. No, never. I will never forget about you. From now on, if we want to meet, do this as you walk by. Do this if it is safe. We will meet by the waterfall. I will bring food. Barbara, Owen, David, and I have decided to escape. You must come with us. Marie, it's not possible to escape. Don't you remember Lydia? Burning up the stake would be better in another year with that old woman. The warriors can run all day without stopping. They can track while running full speed. Hannah would burn us all. They brought us hundreds of miles into Ohio. 
We don't even know where the fort is. We must return. They'll be looking for us. has caused you to grow strong and beautiful. This is a beautiful place. It is a gift, the Great Spirit. And who is the Great Spirit? Many winters ago, Sky Woman had her two sons, Great Spirit and the Evil Spirit. Great Spirit created the mountains, valleys, forests, and great waters. His brother Evil Spirit Work too. He created war, anger, and all kinds of dangerous creatures. When Great Spirit saw what Evil Spirit had done, there was a great battle. Evil Spirit was defeated, cast out of the heavens. He still roams the forest, causing great evil, danger, and strife. Who created Sky Woman? And who fathered her two sons? I do not know. My God created the heavens and the earth, and all living things. He sent his only son, Jesus, to forgive our sins so that we can know him. I do not know this Jesus. The white man's God is strong. White men have good weapons. Man's God makes Sesquahana more graceful than the deer. You have the courage of a panther. For this, he is a good God. But Galasco is Indian, and Sesquahana is now Indian. You must believe in Indian God. Galasco, son of the great chief, child of the great spirit wishes to make Sesquahana his own. We would be very happy and raise many great warriors. Yankees have captured Fort Duquesne. All warriors in the village must go with the French and take back what has been taken from us. Oh. Oh. Oh, sir. I leave only one. That is you, to guard the village. Father, I must go with you. My son, I leave my best warrior behind to protect old people and the young children and guard the captives so none escape. Old women. Children and dogs, you disgrace me in front of everyone. No, my son, I do not disgrace you. I give you great honor before our people. In our old ones, our history lives. In our young ones, our future rests. I entrust both to you. Those good. Ah. If your brother and I should be killed, who else would take our place? Those good. Mm. Your great courage. Everyone knows. Let them now see your wisdom. Oh. 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 
Velasco is asked to marry Susquehanna. You are not Susquehanna. Your name is Barbara. You would have to worship the Indian gods. No one can change what I believe in my heart. Marie, do I really have a choice? He killed your family. Your father's scalp hangs over the door to Glasgow's longhouse. How could you do this? Three days when we return from the fort, we will have a marriage ceremony. Never leave you or forsake you. Never. <laughs> Father, I don't know what to do. Please help me. I'm going with you. What happened? Your mother's brooch? Where did you get it? From Velasco. You're right. I could never marry him. We're meeting at the canoes. In the full moon at its highest. Two days? I'll be there.
Found her. I know she's coming. Wait. I thought you were dead. Hannah almost caught me. Let's push it over the falls. Circles. No. We're going east. How do you know? You see the moss on that tree. Moss grows heaviest on the north side of a tree. So that way is east. to make this last. I only have lead and powder for three shots. <laughs> you 
No one might have heard the shot. Just go as fast as we can. Velasco! You were taking the fort already? The French had gone back to Canada. We were the only ones to fight. Why are you here? Sasquahan and three others have escaped. They're just ahead. I almost have them. Sesquahana? Yes. I go. I go with you. I need no help from children. I go bring back what is mine. Hanoa will be angry. He is always angry. I must go. Must burn. 
You've come to save her again. We are near the fort. We must go fast. You would steal my honor again. So the father will make you cheat. No. in English. It's just another Indian ambush. I'll shoot the big Indian yonder on the right. He shoot his woman. But if they are escaped, as they say. No one can escape the Indians. Hold your fire, man. Hold your fire. These savages killed my brother and his whole family. I said hold your fire. They are young. I'll report this to Colonel Mercer. We have seen this ambush before the Indians get their children to speak like captives. You are sure they are not captives? No, sir, but no one escapes the Indians. This must be a trap. Sergeant Mueller, prepare a longboat and take a landing party with Captain Thomas. Do not go ashore unless you are certain that there is no ambush. Yes, sir. Who are you? What do you want? We escaped the Delaware Indians. They're very hungry and I'm injured. I can't run anymore. We have come so far. Please save us. Please save us. We will save you in the morning when we're certain of no ambush. No, please Don't save wait. us now. We have please. Come back. Please. Welcome please. back. Speak English, I can't understand you. Better. Never on stone fort. Sergeant, was that German? Yeah, yeah, perfect German. Save us, save us, take us to the fort, they are saying. Better. Never on stone fort. Please. Let's go. Oh, oh look, they're, they're coming back. <laughs> they're coming back. <laughs> Welcome home, ladies. <laughs> Alaska's. Who was this? 
Anoa, son of the great chief. Brother of Galasco. He chased us 200 miles. Master, sir. Captain Thomas. May I introduce to you four very brave captives. Welcome to Fort Pitt. Please, sir. We've been running night and day for three weeks. We're starving. Of course. Captain Thomas, see they have as much food as they can eat. We shall talk of the enemy's strength tomorrow. See the regimental surgeon takes care of that later. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Perhaps you ate too much, and I dare say, a bit too fast. The sergeant, be sure there are plenty of blankets. They've been cold quite long enough. Sergeant, I don't see our captives about. I'm afraid our captives are exhausted. I, I left them fast asleep. <laughs> Let them sleep until they stir. <laughs> Wait, sergeant. Call the matron. Let us prepare a surprise. These young ladies have not had a hot bath in many years. Yes, Captain. Uh, and you have skin coming out. <laughs> 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 let me know if this gets too hot. Looks just uh, right. Thank, thank you. you. <sighs> Barbara, your hair is much lighter. Look at that. <laughs> I think the stain will come out. Girls, it is less than an hour before the evening meal. The colonel has invited you to join us in the mess. You must not be late for dinner. They should be ready, Captain. And thank Colonel Mercer's daughter for the dresses. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? His Majesty would be most grateful for any information you could provide about these savages. What kind of a man is their sachem, this Chief Selenkwa? He's a great warrior. He's wise in the ways of his people. Warriors. So how many of these warriors are good fighters? All of them. I see. Just as I suspected. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with distinct pleasure that I present to you Miss Marie Leroy and Miss Barbara Leininger. I dare say I could not have recognized you had we not been introduced. <laughs> Enter. Captain. Sir. Word of our captive friends has reached Philadelphia. You must return these captives safely. At once, Colonel. It is a great honor. Barbara? 
John. Barbara. <laughs> Fritz. Barbara, thank God you're safe. I'm afraid he'd bring you back to us. Welcome home. Are you sure you cannot come with us? We report to Colonel Armstrong in the morning. We've joined up with the militia. We owe you our lives. We'll never forget you. Promise you'll write us? We promise. You can find someone to teach us how to write in English. Promise. I will come back. Wait for me. On your way then. God has blessed us greatly. We have had four good crops in a row. Mama, look. My brooch! Mama would be so happy. He worked so hard for it. If only I could tell him that you brought it back. Has Maria agreed to court Will Stevens? She's waiting for Owen. Oh, but she hasn't heard a word since that one letter. It has been three years. She's faithful. I admire her. She doesn't even know if Owen is still alive. And yet she hopes. As we do for Regina. Mama, look what I found. Oh. <laughs> Danke, my dear. <laughs> Have you sensed any interest from Fritz lately? I think he thinks of me as a sister. Ah, oh, it's more than that. I've seen that look he gives you. Hmm. I remember that look from your father. Hmm? Hmm, Papa. <laughs> Well, you and Rebecca is finished. Fritz just nailed the last shingle. Oh, he's such a fine young man. Mama, can I ask you something about Fritz and Barbara? Yeah. I thought you would never ask. Oh. So they have your blessing? Oh, without question. Oh. <laughs> Mama said if you don't keep going, you won't catch her. Healthy babies, more good food than we could eat. Everything is perfect. Only Regina were here to share in our blessings. Yes. Let us pray.
Pastor. A moment by your fire, please. Welcome. Come in. Pastor Wallenberg. Oh. Oh. oh, it's so cold. Oh, man, it's freezing. Oh. Barbara, some hot tea. Yes, my lord. Thank you. Oh. That's it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. What brings you out on Christmas Eve? I have wonderful news. Oh. Colonel Armstrong and the Royal Americans have defeated the Indians in Ohio. <laughs> the Indians must return all the captives. <laughs> 200 have already arrived at Fort Carlisle. Oh, they must go immediately. Yes, uh, let us join our hearts and hands together. Regina? Regina? Owen? Owen! <laughs> I was hoping you would come. Is David here with you? He was killed. The battle Bushy Run. He died in my arms. I can tell you no one took his scalp. Do you know what's come of Marie? Could it be possible that she is not married? Quite possible. I think she's still waiting for the man who once saved her life. Marie! Marie. Owen. I promised you. I would come back. I'm afraid she might not be here. No, she is here. I can feel her presence. Just do not know that she's fun. Next, please. Can I be your service, ma'am? Colonel Armstrong, I know my daughter Regina is here, but I cannot find her. Regina, Regina. How old has she been taken? Nine. She would be 19 now. Does she have any identifying marks, birthmarks, scars? No. My little princess was perfect. Any pet names? Any nicknames you might have called her? Only Regina. I've been calling and calling. Songbird. My little songbird. That's it, Mama. Yeah. Next.
the light that will guide me home with his love and tenderness leading through the wilderness and wherever I may roam I'm alone yet not alone I will not be bent in fear he's the refuge I know is near in his strength I find my own by his faithfulness he shows That so mighty is his shield, for his love is now revealed. When my steps are lost and desperate for a guide, I can feel his touch, a soothing prayer. forsaken when on my own I can lean upon his arm and be lifted up from all if I stumble or if I'm thrown I'm alone yet not
ักหนา